Hey everyone, welcome back to Wax Trash Treasures. This is my first box of the new year. It's going to be this uh, blaster box of 2022 Donruss Optic Baseball. I like Optic, right? Like it's basically the same as Topps Chrome. Um, little price here. Uh, for that reason, I guess it's it's worth more on the open market. The problem is, of course, like all Panini baseball products, they don't have a license. So, you know, what we're looking at here is going to be players with city names, but no team names. And all the team logos are going to be airbrushed off. And on the cover, uh, on the front of the box, you have got Juan Soto in his Washington uniform, familiar places in strange places, uh, or familiar faces in strange places, as it were. Uh, I love Panini's packaging of blaster packs. I think this is superior to Tops in many ways, because uh, they've got that nice ridge in there to keep everything straight. So let's see who we've got. We've got uh, six packs. Each pack contains five cards, uh, and there are... Um, there are blaster exclusive pink parallels, but of course we're looking for numbered cards instead on the other one. So let's see, we're going to start with uh, Mike Yastrzemski, Corey Seager. We got a Diamond Kings of Mike Trout. That's a good looking card. I loved Optic and their, Optic and their, their chromed out stuff. Uh, we've got Wander Franco, the Rookies. I don't know if this is cut right or not. It's hard to say. I don't know what the framing is supposed to be for that, but everybody loves Wander, so there we go. And uh, we've got Jose Ramirez. Uh, you notice that we've got the, the silver optic cover here, uh, the prism, and they label, um, Panini does, they label their optic prisms as prisms, so you can easily identify which ones are prisms and which ones are not. Let's move on to the next pack. All right, uh, we've got a pink. I'll put it here. It's Kyle Tucker. <laughs> Neat. Uh, we got MJ Melendez, uh, rated prospect, not rated rookie, uh, Freddie Freeman, Aaron Judge, AL MVP, and uh, Joe Barlow as a rated rookie, not a rated prospect. Yeah, rated rookie, you got Royce Lewis, Marcus Simeon, Aaron Ashby, got a Bryce Harper splash in his Philadelphia uniform, and a Xander Bogarts splash. Again, familiar faces in strange places, Xander Bogarts playing in Boston. We got our second pink parallel in this one, but let's see, we've got uh, Kyle Tucker, Joey Votto, got a Diamond Kings Byron Buxton, got uh, Joanne Adon, rated rookie pink, and a Jonathan India Mythical. I really like this card, but the cut is way, way skewed to the right, right? So the border on the left is just far too large. You can see there's actually, uh, there's some cutting dust here from uh, from the machinery. It's a not a great presentation, but it's a neat card. Go ahead and put uh, Yuan over there. Babe Ruth in black and white. Ty France, uh, Tony Santin. We got a card backwards. It is an autograph of Stephen Gonsalves of uh, of New York. Ah. This is the same thing that uh, same issue that Topps Chrome has or Topps uh, Chrome Update has too, right? Like you've got lots of lots of autographs of rookie middle relievers. So that's pretty cool. I, I love collecting autos just for the sake of it. And then, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to obviously be happy with that. And then we've got uh, Reed Detmers in the Lights Out parallel. Or Lights Out insert, rather. All right, last pack. Well, we've already had our mojo, so I don't know what, what else we can expect to find here. Oh, we got another pink parallel. Uh, let's see, we've got Casey Mize, George Brett, Taylor, or Tyler McGill. We've got Joey Votto in the pink. I draw. Oh, God, I dropped it. Uh, well, thank God these chrome cards are sturdy. <laughs> and uh, Grayson Rodriguez as a rated prospect. So I'm sorry for the jump cut here, uh, but I had a different close out, close out for this video than the one I'm, I'm going to do right now. And that is, um, you know, it's easy to criticize Panini. I think Panini makes a lot of mistakes when they make their cards. But that said, um, Optic is a fun set. It's I love the glossiness to it. The same reason I like Topps Chrome. Uh, normally, I would like Topps Chrome Update, but this year, Topps has totally screwed the pooch on that one, so I'm not going to buy any of those. But uh, but I think Panini did a pretty good job with with Optic, You know, especially when you stop to consider that they don't have the license for MLB, right? So we're just getting city names and not team names. Grayson Rodriguez is a prospect for Baltimore, not a prospect for the Orioles. Go into it with eyes open. Uh, go into it expecting to pay a little bit less than you'll pay for tops because, again, they don't have the license. They don't have to pay the licensing fee to Major League Baseball. And I think you'll be happy. Uh, I really do like Optic. I, I like the design. I like Don Russ's design this year. 
Um, I think sometimes Panini has too many inserts. That's a constant complaint of mine. It's one I'm going to raise every time I open a Panini product. But hey, again, Optic, it's a great set. It's a fun set. Find it at your local uh, big box retailer. Find them online. You know, it's a fun rip. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you around.